Right guys, it would be nice if uh, utility was just simple and you know the, that as uh, you consumed more the marginal utility dropped off but we're going to explore in a little bit more depth some further ideas with regard to utility. Let's look at measuring utility and one of the ideas is that you can actually measure utility by the price consumers are prepared to pay for a product and this is given by the optimal purchase rule. That basically says that people are prepared to pay a price equal to the marginal utility and if the margin, if the price gets um, higher than the MU that they gain they'll stop consuming. Some further ideas and this one says that well as a consumer reduces their consumption their purchases of a good MU increases and you can see this in the arrows there and you'll see as the arrows are actually moving up the MU curve, moving to the left, that in fact you'll see that the um, extra utility or the marginal utility is actually increasing. So by cutting back you actually increase your extra utility although your total utility falls. Now if we graph um, in this case an example James marginal utility for ginger beer and we measure it in cents you'll see that you can put a demand curve together that's exactly the same as uh, the MU curve over to the left. Now as consumption of ginger beer goes up both the price that a person is prepared to pay and the extra utility that they gain from the product decreases. Now it would be nice um, if it was as simple as that but in order for a consumer to consume more then the price needs to fall because they're not because MU is falling they're not prepared to pay as high a price. Now the equimarginal rule says well it doesn't actually say this but if a, con a consumer is prepared to um, purchase to a point where price equals marginal utility but there's a problem there's more than one product in the marketplace so consumers purchase a range of products with different demand curves and MU curves. Uh, if we use our example of drinks and we add burgers into the mix then what we'll find is that consumers will tend to spend to a point where their marginal utility uh, for drinks divided by the price or their marginal utility per dollar spent is equal uh, to the marginal utility per dollar spent for burgers. So burgers and drinks marginal utility per dollar spent will tend to equal out in the long run. Uh, and that is, and also you can tell from this what a person's going to purchase first and also what they're going to purchase next. So for example here's one where you've got the marginal utility of drinks is higher or the drinks uh, the marginal utility of drinks per dollar spent is higher than the marginal utility of burgers per dollar spent. So if this is the case the person is more likely to buy drinks than burgers. Okay, And this will go down so they need to spend more on drinks and less on burgers. Uh, if it's the other way around they will spend more on burgers than they will on drinks and this will alternate depending on what part of a curve a person is on. Well, that's an introduction to the equimarginal rule. You'll need to look at a, another video on it and um, have a little bit of read around it to understand it better. Uh, I hope this helps you with your um, project or your portfolio item if you are uh, intending to do the third portfolio item.